Normally I would be taking this boat out, catching my own fish and then coming back and cooking it up. The weather is just absolutely gorgeous for it. Everybody's going to be craving for takeaways pretty soon. Just like everybody else, we're all making plans of what we want to do after lockdown. If you haven't done so, I recommend going into a Thai restaurant and trying some tom yum soup. It's a little bit different to your normal, you know, burgers or fish and chips or your normal takeaways. But this kind of flavour is very unique, very different. It's a very uh, sweet and savoury and chilly taste. Kind of like sweet and sour pork, but just with a bit of chilli and it's, it's in the soup. If you're in Hamilton, you can get it from Wilma. This is where I get some of the ingredients from. Most of our herb will be in a frozen, so this is what um, frozen galanga. Then frozen lemon glass. And some frozen of the chili. Chili paste that we're gonna use for our soup. Try not to use the pre made tom yum chili paste because it doesn't taste right it tastes so commercial and tastes so strong um, tom means to boil and yum means to be sour and spicy and um, these are the main ingredients the cooking time is about 20 to 30 minutes or prep time included so on this plate is everything that we get for free, whether we plant it or we get it from our neighbours or friends. So we've got lemongrass that came from our garden, tomatoes, coffee lime leaf, chilli and lemon. Then we've got um, button mushrooms, I think they're called button mushrooms. Um, we've got uh, garlic. This, some people might not know, is called um, galanga. And this is chili paste, fish sauce, like every other dish we always need fish sauce. And then we're going to make tom yum gong. Uh, gong means prawn, so we've got um, prawn here and coriander. So this is the main, uh, main ingredients. Now my wife here is Thai. Me, I'm not Thai because... Um, but I tell people, my non-Asian friends, I tell them that I'm from Thailand because if I tell you guys I'm from Laos, you probably won't know where Laos is. Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows where Laos is. But if I say Thailand, people go, oh yeah, Thailand, Thailand, Thai boxing, temples, market, ladyboy, love you long time. Just got the rice cooking because in our culture we eat soup with rice. I know that in most um, culture they eat soup with bread. So what we're doing is we're just dicing and chopping things up. Um, with our culture we don't use tablespoons or measuring cups. It's all just going by uh, the look and the feel and also tasting as you go along. Most of this ingredient, aside from that type of mushroom, most of everything is grown or got locally. So that's why it's like a, a national dish of Thailand. With the meat, it's only white meat. You can't put beef or pork in towards the soup. Um, it's traditionally, you know, um, seafood and also some chicken as well if you're allergic to seafood. So once you've got your water boiling, you add the ingredients. Maybe except you... except the the chili. Chili can put later because just in case you don't really like it too spicy. So with the kaffir lime leaf, I normally break it so the flavor coming out properly. Just boiling these ingredients together just to get the flavour is like 
doing an Indian curry, you've got to do the curry first before you add uh, the other things such as your vegetables or your meat. And because it is prawn, they cook really fast. Prawn and mushroom, they cook really fast, so that will be added on in the end. Now I spoil it, boy, and then we just put the mushroom. Maybe just wait for a couple minutes because mushroom is cooked a little bit longer than the prawn. Maybe once the mushroom about half cooked and then you just add some um, prawn in it. So cook the prawn for about 5 minutes or so and then you're going to add the rest of the ingredients which is the fish sauce and also the coriander and chili and that is it oh, and lemon. also the lemon, lemon juice as well and this will go by taste as well this is the time where you start tasting it and just make sure that you like the taste whether you, you want it spicy or you want it more sour you want it more sweet just whatever you your taste bud prefer That is it, nice and simple, it's just boiling up a soup, getting the flavours into it and then just adjusting the flavours. Mm. So the flavour, the first flavour you'll taste is that it's sour and then it'll be sweet and then the chilli kicks in. Thanks for joining me on this video. Um, we do make other dishes as well. We've made hangi in the past. I'll put the link up there. And yeah, so see you on my next video. After you've cooked it for... Uh, kids, just be quiet. Kids! Now oh, this is... Kids! Quiet! There's Laos. Vietnam. Top of Laos. Thailand. Bangkok So the word Bangkok does not mean bang cock that means um, bang which means a different different areas different suburb within that town and the cock is uh, It's just another word that's added on. I don't know if it's like a slang or something But yeah for you dirty minded people like myself that think Bangkok is Bangkok.